first female quorum master is not only a trailblazer in music, but also in African education. And on top of her new album, she also started the Gambia Academy in her home country. And today we are joined by the multi-instrumentalist and social activist, Sona Jobate. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, so first off, for people who don't know, tell us about the Quora Academy. The Cora. Mm -hmm. The Cora is a uh, is the a Cora instrument. Yes. Instrument. Yes. Uh, this is an instrument from West Africa, um, specifically from Gambia, but also a larger region of West Africa: Gambia, Senegal, Mali, Guinea. It's a big part of West Africa because it it belongs to an ancient tradition at the time that all those countries was were one empire. Um, so it's it's a tradition that is uh, over 700 years old. It's a little bit like a harp. A lot of people compare it to a harp. Mm -hmm. It has 21 strings. Uh, one of the only instruments in the world to have two sets of strings rather than one set like a harp. So I've yeah, quite I've unusual. I've never seen an instrument yes. like this before, but it is so beautiful. How did you first fall in love with music? Uh, my family. Uh, I, I was born into a, a family that traditionally is uh, plays this instrument has done for generations. So it's it's actually a hereditary tradition. So. Yeah. And what does it feel like now to be the first female to master this instrument in the entire world? <laughs> we have greatness among us here. Yes, absolutely. I would say I'm, I'm, I'm now come to terms with it, actually. I, yeah. I, never, I never liked it before when I was growing up. I just <laughs> wanted to be taken as any other musician, any other chorus player. But um, obviously when I grew up and especially when I started to work with younger uh, students, I started to realize really that power of the fact of being a female and being able to inspire other females to also, not just the chorus, but any other things that maybe culturally are not acceptable, not the norm to start exploring that those areas. So uh, speaking of being an inspiration, you know, outside of music, you're also a social activist and you started the Gambia Academy in your home country. So talk to us about that and why it's so important to you. Uh, the Academy is especially important because this is the reflection of my mission, which is to bring a new education system to Africa. So um, rather than just bringing another school to teach, you know, more of the same, this is really for me a critique on the education system and mm. questioning what children are actually learning in schools in Africa. Mm -hmm. And the fact that the education system has a hugely powerful impact on the mentality of young Africans mm -hmm. and also doesn't at the moment set them on a trajectory to be successful within Africa. And this is the reason why I set up the academy to explore a new education system and one that also can be replicated in other countries also. That's incredible. Incredible. Wow, that, that takes a lot of guts to just start something like that, and you're changing lives doing it. And you also have a new album, right? Yes. Tell us about the new album. I hear it has uh, just six million streams oh, already. Okay. Just a little <laughs> number like that. What can people, you know, hear with your music? Uh, this album was uh, really for me a challenge because the most important part of this album was to bring together my work as an activist, my work in education with music. So every song on the album tells a specific story about something that I'm representing, something that I'm doing at the academy, something that I want to see happening in the world. So this is a really kind of like a meeting point, but also it was a great ex opportunity also to collaborate with, uh, with some guest artists as well, which I didn't do on my first album. A couple of people from the States here, so it's great to be here in the States performing this album having also worked with a couple of amazing artists from this from this region too. Wonderful and we're actually very lucky because we are getting a preview performance so we'll let you take it away. Thank you. Yeah.
Oh you could God. see the passion in your faces as you're playing. It was beautiful. That was such a treat. So that was Sona and guitarist Eric Apapule. Absolutely wonderful. And I know you're both touring right now, right? How's that experience been? Uh, yeah, good. Obviously tiring. But yeah, <laughs> you're going all over. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's intense. Awesome. And you do have a show here in Seattle tonight, you know, at Dimitrio Jazz Alley. So tell us about that. Yeah, we've got, well, we got two shows. Uh, we had one last night, so um, this is why we're here, um, which is great because Seattle actually is a place I, I personally really do like. Um, but we have, yeah, two shows coming up tonight. I think the latest show still has a couple of tickets left, just a few. Ooh, okay. Um, but yeah, but I'll be playing with my four band. Um, this is Eric, yes, on, on guitar, but there's a, a four band as well. And of course I sing, so that's Amazing. <laughs> beautiful. Amazing. More to come. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us, both of you. It was a fantastic show. And we do have more information available for you on our website, fox13seattle.com slash studio13live if you want to get a, those, those couple of tickets that are still available.